welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am brunette. I am my natural color for the first time in like 12 or 14 years. A long, long time. And I love it. I feel beautiful. I don't have anything going on right now in my face. My hair is not actually done. It was just in a braid last night. So it's kind of crazy. I don't look like super put together, but um, I feel good. I just having babies, my hair will not hold blonde anymore like my roots just got so bad so quickly and it would just was getting to the point where i was just feeling like kind of gross with the way that it was looking at first i was like a little bit nervous because i haven't been brown or brunette in my natural color in so long that i was like am i gonna is this gonna be an absolute complete shock and i got like four inches cut off of the already couple inches i got cut off a, m a couple months ago so it's shorter i think i actually want it a little bit more short but it was not a shock. When I tell you, I was like blow drying my hair upside down and when I flipped my head back, I almost cried. When the Lord gives you a hair color, it's okay if you change it. I had my hair changed for 14 years, but there's something about coming back to your normal, your natural given hair color and feeling like, I feel like me is all I can say. I feel like this is me, it's me for sure always but it's also me like in this season i don't want to put effort into making my hair something that it's not i just want it to be what it is and i want to work with what it is but today's video is really 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 exciting i almost have a four-year-old and i don't know how that happened it hurts me a lot actually i had a good cry about it last night with a rocker situation that i'll explain in a little bit but I have an almost four-year-old and so for Azariah's birthday we were trying to think of something that we could do that would just be so fun for him but also be like not toys because it was just Christmas it's hard when his birthday is so close to Christmas that like trying to figure out what to do because we would love to be able to do experiences but in this season of life we can't really do experiences the best so we were like we should redo his room with the finances that we have the ideas that we have in the time that we have we have a really good idea of what we're going to be doing literally today and the first part of the day tomorrow because azariah is at my parents and craig is actually dropping him off right now and then we have the rest of the day today and the first half of tomorrow to do the things that we need to do and to pull this off what we are redoing for his room or what we re are redoing his room as is football theme so currently his room is the exact same that it was the very like from the nursery from the first video that I ever showed of his nursery reveal decor is almost the same except for the fact that he has a like a floor bed now instead of a crib and the wicker thing's not in there anymore but anyway like for the most part the same decor and so it's time for him to have like a big boy room a for real big boy room and so we're redoing it in a football theme he loves NFL football he, we were like kind of torn because he loves football so much, but he also really loves Jesus and Bible stories. And so we we're trying to figure out like how to do both, but we're just sticking with the football theme um, because there's like, it's easier to make decor of that. Cause like, how do you make decor of like David and Goliath and Jonah? So we're doing the football theme and I'm the things that we have planned I'm really excited for I'll tell you guys and show you guys and take you in there in a second We play football every single day. I get tackled 30 million times a day He has a Colts football um, outfit that he got for Christmas. It's just like he He's a sports boy and Craig loves that Craig eats that up and I'm getting there too because currently I know nothing about football other than what Azariah tells me. He has no idea and then walk in his room tomorrow and see that like this space is something that he loves. And I, I feel like no matter how he re reacts or responds, I just feel like it's going to bring joy to him to walk in his room and to be in there, to do like quiet time or to spend time in there in general. I feel like mostly what it's gonna say is like we know him and we care about the things that he cares about. And so we're doing this in a cost-effective way. Like it's not costing us a bunch of money because you, we know that interests of children change a lot, but we're wanting to make this something that he loves and that he feels like we see him and you know, so that's what we're doing. It is morning here. So the lighting is not amazing, but this is what 
we have so craig actually made this bed the story behind it is that we bought a twin mattress and craig accidentally <laughs> built a full-size frame so that's why those right there i can't point because kai's on my arms but those two right there are couch cushions that have been there for three years now and then just our extra pillows to kind of fill in the gaps and then this is from his third birthday party when he was super into farm animals which he's not at all pretty much anymore um but we just put that up because it was like his backdrop for his birthday micaiah loves this blue like pillow thing <laughs> this mirror has been here since his nursery um, if you guys saw his nursery in our old house, pretty much nothing has changed except he doesn't have a crib anymore. He has this huge bed. This is still the same dresser that's like gross on the top. We're not changing anything about this dresser, to be honest. I thought about painting it, but we just have such limited time that I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, but this is going to go away. That's going to go away. Do you like my trash bag on the window? <laughs> So these are blackout curtains, but I just, that's been there since the beginning of living here. So I just haven't taken it off. This little plant thing in the corner is going away. This chair. I had a good cry about this chair last night because I rocked Azariah, breastfed him in this chair, read books to him in this chair every day for like three and a half years. And he just, it's been, I mean, it's been probably about a year. So I would say more like three years straight of rocking him in the chair. Now he just doesn't want to sit with me in it anymore. He's, he's too big. It's just kind of like taking up space in this corner. So I had our last, I did have to bribe him a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, I did have our last like little cuddle session in that chair. Um, just as like one last time to just, I mean, he's like a child now. He's not a toddler. I can't really talk about it now, so I'm gonna probably cry. Hi, baby. So that's sad, but I have a really cool idea for this corner. One of the things I think I'm most excited for is this, these doors, these the closet doors. So I'm literally painting them to look like a football. Um, I will put a picture right here of like the inspiration behind this. I'm so excited. I hope it turns out well. I. I'm not a painter, but it seems pretty like easy to just tape it off. And the doors are already already white, so I just needed to get brown paint. And on this wall, Craig built a peg rail. Um, I don't know how to explain it other than it's like a rail that goes all the way across and it has pegs on it. Um, and then I'm painting the lower half of the wall, his favorite color blue. He picked out the color blue. On top of the peg rail is going to be pictures of some of his favorite football players and the NFL mascot. It's not every NFL mascot, but it has most of the ones that he likes in it. That's my coffee. That's mine. Um, I just printed them off the internet, to be honest, and then bought a five pack of frames off of Amazon. And then also on top of the like flat piece of the peg rail, Craig found these, I think they're called like bubble gum mini helmets or something but they're they're nfl little mini helmets and we're going to put those on the railing and then on the railing pegs we're going to hang his colts uniform that he got for his birthday his football helmet and you know just have some room to store other things eventually also i have no idea what's going to go on this wall right here um, maybe eventually i can find like a big poster or something to put above here. Oh my goodness, and I also saw a football lamp. I'll insert a picture right here of the football lamp, but I cannot find it anywhere. And the ones that I have found are really expensive, so we're gonna stick with this lamp for right now, but eventually I would love to get a football lamp. And then on this huge wall, we have a couple options. I found these pennants, which are like flags of the NFL teams that we could put there, or I could put it where the mirror is. We're kind of swinging it, obviously, as we go. You can see that. Um, or I found these NFL mascot um, felt character. I don't know how to explain it. I'll show you in a second. We couldn't afford to get all of them because they were kind of expensive. So we just got some of his favorite ones. And we're going to put those on the wall too. I don't know if I said this specifically yet, but he loves... He loves fo football in general, but he really loves the mascots for the teams. He knows every single mascot. He knows the ones that don't have mascots. It's pretty insane, actually. And every time Craig and him talk about it, and he, he's like, 
mommy, did you know the quarterback of the Lions is, and I'm like, no, I didn't know that. Um, or mommy, did you know the mascot of the Seahawks is, I think the Ma Seahawks don't have a mascot, but anyway, you understand what I mean? And it's so cool that he loves it so much. I found these sheets that are out of stock and I don't think they will ever be back in stock from Bed Bath & Beyond that are white. They're 100% cotton, which is important to me. And they have every NFL team logo on them. And they would be perfect for his bed, for his, for his um, like the new theme. But they're out of stock. And I found some on eBay that I might end up getting, but it's like 12, it's like $13 for shipping, which I think is kind of crazy. But it would just make the room so much more put, like, you know what I mean? It would make it, it would make it amazing. They wouldn't get here till probably his birthday anyway, and we're doing the reveal tomorrow when he gets home. But it might be worth it to like have them at least for his birthday as like an extra little something that we did, you know? Cause I know like toddlers, children, are not usually that excited about things like sheets or clothes, but I think he would be excited about the sheets because every single night, <laughs> every single night during his nighttime routine, Craig pulls up this chart of the NFL team logos and just goes through them and like, as Ryan names all of them. So imagine being able to do that, but being able to do that with like the sheets on his bed, I think would be, he would love it. I have to go to an appointment later, which is like smack in the middle of the day. Kind of unfortunate, but it's an important um, appointment because I got my hormones checked and my blood work done. And so my doctor is going to go over that blood work with me. Look at that. You can gap it on this end too. Wow. Oh, I'm going to go trim like an egg off. And then we'll get it flush. Next one, I'll just cover yours. Okay. So for reference, now that this is up here, this is a ledge, and the pictures are gonna go up above here, and the little helmets are gonna sit on there. brief intermission on this day. I have been feeling not good. Really not good. Having some really strange problems. Um, some of sim some of the symptoms that I had when I was like really deep in my chronic illness uh, have come back, but also some ones that I have not had before, like some heart issues that have been kind of scary to the point where I sometimes feel like I'm going to pass out just like from doing nothing. Since I'm postpartum, I want to know what's going on in my body anyway, but also want to know what if there's something more serious going on than just like, I don't know, something minor. It's in a weird part of the day, so I actually need to pump. I'm using the Mom Cozy pump again. Thank you, Mom Cozy, for sponsoring this video. And I just always am so grateful that I have a hands-free pump and have the ability to do this. Like, I'm literally going to be pumping. It's like a 20... 
seven minute drive and I'll probably just pump the entire drive. This specific pump that I'm wearing is the M5. The suction on this thing is golden to the point where I can't even use the highest set. Like I'm like six or seven suction level because the suction is so good. That I don't have to like carve out extra time today to sit and pump. There's not like big parts sticking up out or anything like I'm wearing this flannel in this um, tank top and I just kind of chill. Like I said, I look a little bit more busty, a little bit more voluptuous, but nothing crazy I don't think. And then I'll turn it on so you can hear it. That's as loud as it gets. I'm a stay at home mom and I find hand free pumps so convenient because I have another toddler who I, who's almost not a toddler anymore, who I, you know, have to give my attention to and my time to and who both of them need things from me. So it, it's just, there's not, I don't have the ability truly to sit down connected to a wall pump. This pump specifically, it only has, I think I counted six parts, which sounds like a lot, but I'm so used to that because I've only really used hand-free pumps since I started my breastfeeding journey with Azariah. So the amount of pumps is not really, an, or the amount of parts is not really an issue for me. But I find that the pieces on this one are easy to put back together. Um, and they're easy to wash. There's not like a bunch of crevices that you have to really, you know, try hard to get into. And I like that the motor sits kind of in the cup it's not a separate uh like sitting on top piece it's it it makes it makes it like all one oval and with this pump i actually i always wear nursing bras i don't own any bras that are not nursing bras but i'm wearing the mom one of the mom cozy ones and it's the one that has the scalloped detail on it and i love this one the material of mom cozy bras are buttery soft buttery soft um, even to the point where I like, when I'm not breastfeeding, it'll be hard for me to not wear nursing bras because one, I don't want to buy new bras, but two, I love the texture of these. They're just so comfortable. So if you have a friend right now who's pregnant or it's yourself and you want to register for something like a hands-free pump, highly recommend that you put that on your registry because it is like on my registry it was like a must have <laughs> i can take my pumps on a date night with my husband at a restaurant and i absolutely have done that and shoved into my shirt and i've gotten weird looks sometimes but you do what you gotta do to go on a date night with your husband you can also save money with mom cozy by using the discount on the screen or the link in the description below and thank you again to mom cozy for sponsoring this video okay it's way later i mean it's actually only like 5 30 right now six o'clock but <clears throat> We have done nothing other than I got that taped. Really praying that that turns out well because if not, it's gonna look pretty silly. Um, but that's okay, we'll have a brown door. But we put up these little- Did you explain what you're doing on there? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, put these little helmets. What are they? They're called like bubble gum helmets, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I'll have all those. Kai has some that he's playing with right now, but they fit perfectly across there and then the pictures will go up there. We're not making a ton of progress because my appointment took, what was I gone for like four hours? Several. But I got really good information about my blood work. So that was helpful. Craig's gonna paint the blue stripe right there now. I realize lighting in here is probably pro probably not optimal, but we have to keep the lights low and our voices low because Craig's trying to get Micaiah to sleep right now so that I can start on the closet doors. And I'm just gonna tell you I'm a little bit intimidated because they're the kind of doors that like pass by each other, do you know what I'm saying? And so to try to match up the laces of where the football like laces are gonna go is incredibly hard and I don't know, I don't think I did it perfectly. I definitely didn't do it perfectly actually because from here to here is not the same from there to there. But I think it'll be okay.
morning everybody it's the next day it probably doesn't really look like it because it's still the sun is not out i started taking the tape off where the football is and it's not perfect for sure i mean it like has bled through a little bit we definitely should have used different tape but i think the end result will look like football laces so i'm gonna keep going It definitely looks like a football laces I think but you can see where I mean it bled through on like every single square especially up here in this corner as Raya has white acrylic paint and I might just literally go in and like um, doctor this up a little bit and make it a little bit smoother on each one of them because some of them are pretty noticeable like this and I just want it to be more crisp. And also, since the doors were a little bit open, I totally forgot to do this on both the top and the bottom. So I gotta do that still. So originally we only had four of these pictures, but we realized that, well, we had five, but the, what's that called? Mascot one is this way instead of this way. So we need to get one more to make five so that it doesn't look weird on the wall. So, Craig's gonna go pick up. Oh, I gotta finish doing that. I gotta finish ordering it. Ordering them. Put it in the middle there. There. One more. So that's gonna go in place now. So now it's okay though because we have like no pictures of our family anywhere in our house. We'll be putting those up somewhere. The plan is when he gets home, um, or when we get home, hurry and go put that new thing up on the wall. Craig, okay, do that. And the other picture. Oh, and then there's yeah the other picture that we printed out to go on the wall of the players. And then we are not gonna tell him like there's a surprise in your room or anything. We're just gonna somehow get him into his room and then I will film his reaction. Vikings. Oh, the Vikings. Probably Kirk Cousins. Well, who's the quarterback for the Chiefs? Did I say it loud? <laughs> <laughs> who's the quarterback for the Dolphins? <laughs> That's a good try. His last name is hard to say. Okay, guys, this is Lexi from the future, actually, because these are the sheets that I told you we ended up ordering, and they came like three days later. And I wanted to show you guys everything put together. So these are just on here to literally show you guys what the sheets look like with everything in the room. But I'll be taking these off and saving them for Azariah's birthday, which is in a few days. But this is everything. Turned out so good. This is the mat that his, um, Craig's parents got him. Penance there. The mommy mat with the thing my parents got him. And then the mascot wall. It's awesome. So, so, so thankful for how it turned out. Thank you. Hey, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Did you see anything else? Oh, we did a surprise for you. Yeah. <laughs> Your closet door looks like a football now. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. All the teams. What's the Niners? The Niners? Uh, 
You find it. Look up there. The rest of them are up there. Find the Niners. Right there. There they are. And look, buddy, these are the blue colors of blue that you picked out at the store yesterday. Look, they're, uh, they're like, feel like, they're like, kind of like paper. Yeah. And then some of your favorite mascots up here, too. This is a mommy bubby corner. And we get to, s to lay here together, just you and me, and we get to read stories. Yeah. Look, I put up your thing that you got from with me and Papa, too. Now that you're getting bigger, bud, we wanted you to have your own special little room with all the things that you really, really love. So ha happy early birthday from Mommy and Daddy. Happy birthday! Whoa! Toro? Um, Per? What's his name? Sir Per. Sir Per. Um, Swoop? No, Toop. Who's that? That's Freddy? Yeah. You know what? It's called it Mommy Daddy, a Mommy Bubby yeah. Space? Yeah. It's because yeah. Mommy Mommy thought that it might be a good idea if we have a space that's just for you and me. Mm -hmm. And that's our space. I like how they have pictures and running backs and quarterbacks. I like how dads have a name. Yeah, you do. Okay. Mm -hmm.